I'm gonna show you how to create a circle around your talking head in DaVinci Resolve. And once you know how to do this, you can also very easily create a rectangle shape around the corners if you want to, or create your own custom shape. Let's hop into Resolve and check this out. Okay, so I'm in the edit page and I have this talking head clip of Will. I'd like to make a circle around his face so that I can have it show maybe in the corner while a screen cap is also showing on screen. This is something a lot of YouTubers do when they're teaching tutorials. Let's pop over to the Fusion page. And even if you're brand new to Fusion, this is actually a really good place to start. Up here in this tool area, click on the ellipse shape and check that out. The ellipse node has been added over the median one and we have Will's face in the center of this circle. If you wanna move the circle, just click on the center of it here and you can move it wherever you'd like. Over here in Inspector, under Tools, you can see some additional options. You can adjust the width of the circle. I'll just undo that the height, you can create a soft edge. To adjust the size of your circle, click on the edge, drag it in or out, and let's check this out. Awesome, and like I said earlier, once you know how to do this, we could do things like click on the rectangle. If we wanted to round these corners, we can adjust our corner radius. Now you may wanna do this if you're creating something like that vintage older film look. Oh, and actually Will created a great tutorial on how to do so. I will link it above, definitely check that out. And if you wanna create a custom shape, click here on the polygon, can't see anything yet. I am gonna try and create a custom blocky looking heart here. That's pretty terrible, but you get the idea. So there you go. All right, I hope that tutorial was helpful for you. If you want to deep dive and learn more about DaVinci Resolve, check out one or two or three of our over 200 video editing tutorials on our channel. Subscribe to stay in the loop for weekly tutorials from us and we'll see you in another video.